which is the largest group of modeling agencies. We have 32 agencies across the world. You have recently made the decision to move to Hudson Yards. Can you just start by telling me, what, how did you come to that decision? How did Hudson Yards come to you? Traditionally, we started off as a modeling agency, but with the advent of social media as a primary source of marketing and the place where many people go today for their inspiration and influence, um, I realized that we have the wherewithal and capability to become a media company. And in order to do that, we needed a space that was commensurate with the kind of company that we would like to become. So we wanted something that was highly regarded in the industry that uh, could both offer the cool factor and the elegance and status factor. And I think Hudson Yards fits all those, ticks all those boxes. So I imagine with your, um, you know, your millennial set, they're probably digitally capable. How have you adapted to the operation of working at home? A year ago when I took over the company, the first thing that I did is create a digital division um, and a business development division. And what we understood prior to coronavirus is that people are looking to the digital space for their purchases, for their ideas, for their inspiration and and so i realized that all of my talent their social media channels are actual channels the only difference between nbc and one of my girls that has you know 10 million followers is that nbc has producers directors content creators photographers videographers so i brought that all in house so in hudson yards we have a, an entire video studio um, an editing bay, we have an Instagram studio. So we have already been working towards a virtual world. And so for us, having this in place has been a tremendous help to our talent because they're some of the only people who are still working. They're working from home, they're working remotely, but they're working digitally. And that's because we had it all in place prior to this. You've got this publishing capability that essentially encompasses all of your models and all of your talent and all of their followers. And that's a huge plus, especially in a time when we can't go out and make new media. So it isn't just models. We've kind of enlarged the definition of what a, a model is to involve anyone who has a following, a reach, and is passionate or excellent at something. So for example, we signed um, Paul Nicklin, who is the world's most foremost uh, marine photographer. We've signed actors and actresses, we've signed artists, we've signed singers and songwriters. It's really about a model is someone you aspire to be or someone that you look up to in a certain regard. So our roster now far expands beyond the reach of what we would call a traditional model. And if you aggregate all of that together, you have over a billion viewers, a billion. And that's just on Instagram alone. If you combine YouTube, Weibo, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, which we have a, a partnership with, you combine that, you get to 3 billion. So we really are the world's largest media company. We've just never acted that way. And now what we're bringing to clients is the ability and wherewithal to share their message. And we, we can have as many we can reach from 100,000 to a million, to 200 million to a billion. So it's up to the brand to decide how many of our talent we encapsulate in this deal. And instead of having to make a thousand deals with different macro and micro influencers, they come to us, it's a one deal. They do it with us, we provide the talent for them, um, and we enable them to reach specificity and uh, a large audience, meaning we could tell them what country, what city, what socioeconomic strata, uh, what the purchasing power of these people is, when the last time they bought a mascara. So basically we have the back end data to really help drive any message has been massively helpful to the companies who unfortunately are in dire straits because they have production that they've done, they've paid for product and they can't sell it. And so this enables them to still get their message out, to keep people reminded of them and to kind of have a global, a global outreach.